to the collection. So today we're going to be talking about this. This is the solid state, a new pedal from Acorn Amps. But before we talk about that, we need to talk about this. This is a PV Decade. Now, it looks pretty unassuming. It's old. It's small. But this was made famous by Josh Homme of the Queens of the Stone Age band and actually used it on their biggest hit, No One Knows. Well, about a year ago, you could pick these up for like 40 or 50 bucks. Nobody wanted them. They're just a practice amp. But about a year ago, Josh did an interview and he let it slip that this was the secret weapon he used on No One Knows, both for the bass and the guitar part. Since that interview, the price on these has just gone crazy. I mean, you got sellers asking $500 to $1,000, and uh, that makes it kind of unattainable for a lot of us. And that's where Acorn comes in. What they've done is clone this amp, not just the preamp, but also the power amp as well. So this is not gonna be one of those like hour long videos where we're just sitting there turning knobs and you know playing every Queens of the Stone Age riff. I'm sure plenty of other people are gonna do that. So uh, you know, I approach things from kind of the hard rock, heavy metal point of view. You guys probably picked up on that if you've been watching the channel for a while. And we're gonna stay in that vein. I'm gonna show you the tones that I found usable for you know heavier styles of music. And I'm also gonna show you some tones that might surprise you. I know they surprised me. I, I was not expecting blues tones out of a solid state amplifier, but I think the blues tones are actually pretty exceptional. So, hey, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what they've done with this is not only replicated the preamp from this one, but also the power amp. Yes, you heard me correctly. This has a solid state power amp inside of it. So you can actually plug this straight into a four x 12 or any cab with your guitar and that's all you need. All right, so as you can see, we've got the same uh, EQ settings here, low, mid, high. We've got the pre-gain, post-gain, same spot. Um, you have two inputs here, one for normal, one for the saturation. That's actually been changed to a switch here for normal and sat. And then you have a bypass. This will be your input and this is your output. And then over here, we've got a speaker out. So then using this switch, when it's all the way to the left, you're running just the preamp. In the middle, it's a mute, and to the right, you're running the preamp with the power amp. So that'll use the speaker out. All right, we're gonna get right to the good stuff. So this is the solid state in front of the orange Dual Dark 100. Check it out. try the solid state in front of another amp. So I've got my Friedman Wildwood 20 over here, which is uh, basically a PT20 with some more features. It's sort of like a BE Deluxe, but 20 watts. So I'll give you the bass tone here, just for reference. <laughs> Pretty straightforward rock and roll tone. Um, now I'm going to click on the solid state and we're going to start with the normal setting. So. <laughs> so you can tell right off the bat it's like a really subtle effect, at least the settings I have it on. So it just kind of tightens it up, gives it a little more sparkle. 
a little bit more sustain. It gets really fun though when we go to the saturation part, so let's try that. <laughs> So I've kind of dimed or almost dimed everything. So, and that was on the uh, the saturation part. So let's go back to just normal, but with those settings. <laughs> You've heard that back to the bass tone. I mean, it really kind of makes that sound boring after you've had, you know. <laughs> yeah, that thing's pretty cool. I like the way it sounds in front of the Friedman. All right, so as you can see, I've got my Dirty Bird, which means we're going to play some Doom music. Um, I'll be honest, that's mainly what I use this pedal for. It's very versatile as we've already seen, but this is the part that I like. So um, I'm using it as a preamp with the uh, solid state power amp inside, so no other amplifiers. Um, this is run direct in through a two notes torpedo and I'm just using the built-in cab sim. Uh, so let's check it out. This is the normal setting. <laughs> will be the saturated. with some doom riffs now.
So before we wrap things up, I just want to share some of the settings that were heard earlier in the video. Uh, for the bluesy settings, we'll start with that. I had the pre-gain back to about 9 o'clock, post-gain up to about 3. I had your lows right around 10, 11 o'clock, mids at noon, and then we had the highs right around between 2 and 3. And for the heavy metal tones, it's going to depend on which amp you're pushing, assuming you are pushing an amp, which I was. So I would say you need the pre-gain at least at 11 o'clock and the post gain at least at noon, but you're gonna have to tweak that to whichever amp you're using. As far as the EQ though, I had the bass, um, you know, I would say about 70% up. I had the mids totally off, down at zero, and then I put, put the highs right around three, four o'clock. It's also worth noting one thing that the guys at Acorn really got right with this was the way that the mids works. So on that actual decade, you have it at zero, there's like no mids. And then are very low mids, I guess. Once you start turning it, it's like you turn one or two notches and there's no real difference. And then boom, the mids just come in. This replicates that perfectly. So there's a sweet spot in there, which, you know, I would say it's uh, probably right around eight o'clock. And you'll, you just have to hear it. And it's probably going to react also to whatever amp that you're going into and what the gain setting is on that, et cetera, et cetera. But if you can find that sweet spot, it's really, really nice amount of mids. Not too much. It doesn't get honky, but it's also not totally scooped. So if you can hit that sweet spot for the heavy metal tones, perfect. And last but not least, the doom tones, my favorite. So for those, um, you know, it kind of depends what you're pushing again, but I would crank this up, crank the post gain up, do whatever you want with this, depending on how much gain your amp has. I had the bass all the way dimed out. I had the mids at zero and I dimed the highs. And that's gonna give you that kind of like laser beam, you know, crazy electric wizard, super overdriven sound. A lot of fun to play with. Highly recommend trying this setting out. So I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the job they did as far as cramming all the parts in here and getting it to sound to my ears exactly like the original decade. And definitely for a fraction of what people are trying to charge for those decades nowadays. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for the solid state, a PV decade in a stomp box. If you guys are interested in purchasing one, I'm told by the time this video is posted, they should be available. So head on over to acornamps.com or if you happen to live in Atlanta, drop in, see the guys, pick one up. The Gunter Collection approves.